Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is Wages International Uganda Limited, based in Eastern Uganda, basically in Ginger City. You can find us on YouTube as, as Wages uh, Business Page. You can also get us on our YouTube channel as Wages International Uganda Limited. You can also get us on 077-208-1907. For those people who are outside Uganda, you add the code plus two five six, then include seven seven two zero eight nineteen zero seven. So with that, you'll be able to reach us, ask any question you want, and we'll be able to answer you. I will answer you. All other uh, our colleagues, we have other people, they can also answer you. We have our contacts on Facebook. You can also check, and also in the whatever in the description box i'll be leaving our contacts there so basically uh today i've come to like share with you something about eucalyptus have you noticed that eucalyptus trees are now picking popularity in uganda do you know why subscribe subscribe to our youtube channel if you are not if you have not yet subscribed please do that there is down there a word subscribe in red. Click on it. Click on it. Then you will get more information as you feel like. Because if again you click on that bell button, you'll be able to get notifications in case we upload any new video. Yes. How about that? So, gradually, um, eucalyptus is picking popularity a lot in uganda you know why because of the benefits it is used now commercially yeah now it is commercial people use it to get money out of it it's a type of business those who didn't know it doesn't only preserve the environment also also improve the soils some people don't know that these eucalyptus improve the soil because they take the excess water from the soil. Those who plant it in the swamps, they drain that excess water from the soil to save you from mosquitoes and, and so on and so forth. And uh, not only that, we use it timber building. Do you know that now we use timber for roofing the houses? I mean, we use the eucalyptus poles. Those small poles, they are now, they are now used for roofing. Do you know why? Because if you use those small poles for roofing, you save yourself from buying like these uh, the, the timber which is not yet grown, which is not yet mature. Because now people cut this timber when it's still, it is still young. They cut these trees when they are still young. Because now we have clones. We have uh, this eucalyptus hybrid. They tend to like widen in size when they was, when they are still young. You find the stem is very big, but when the tree is too young, for example, I have some trees which are just two years, but you can take them and use them as poles. But uh, you know, it means that uh, at least to have like uh, to leave them for like three years, yeah, for them to a little bit mature. Okay, yeah, but now to avoid all those things like buying timber, which is even not like uh, if you, you might want to buy eucalyptus and they, they give you this uh jackfruit, those trees are uh, jackfruit trees, they can give you those ones unknowingly because for you have just uh, got timber from there, it's already cut. So you just buy, you start loafing, and then after one year, you, you, you see insects in the whatever in the timber. So what people do to avoid all those things, they use the real foil. Because they'll be sure that they are using eucalyptus, which is durable. You understand? So people are using it. So when no one deceives you that eucalyptus has no market, eucalyptus has ready market. People are looking for eucalyptus. I have a friend of mine dealing in trees here. I have companies there, factories. I mean, they are dealing in trees, timber. They make different products out of that. But they are looking for timber. It's not there. 
So if you have any free land in the village, please utilize it. This growing eucalyptus will help you to also protect your land. By protecting, I mean by planting your trees there, you'll be protecting your land from these your whatever, these are squatters. People can take on, they can take on your land when you're not in Uganda. Some people are not in Uganda. Some people are not in like villages. They're in Kampala. They're in what? Yeah, they are not in the villages. So when you're not there, people will take advantage and start grabbing your land. Hmm? They will start grabbing your land. But if you plant trees there, by the way, also plant pine, mosesi, and other types of trees. And uh, very soon we are going to start producing coffee. Yeah, we are planning on that. It's in the pipeline. We shall be very, we shall be producing coffee. We are still getting some lectures, and uh, we have some of our officials doing a very great job in uh, <laughs> researching about coffee. Yeah, so very soon we are going to start also producing that. Yeah, so if you plant those trees on your land. Rest assured that your land is protected. Some people can start grabbing your land slowly, slowly, like by reducing it. <laughs> when you have like three acres, you find two and a half. They keep reducing, they add themselves. But if it has whatever, it has trees, one will take the tree and be like, I oh, know this one is in my is in my land. Now the other one is at your side. No. So eucalyptus and other trees have so many benefits. They have so, so many benefits. Do you know that these eucalyptus leaves are used as a herbal tea? They can use them as herbal tea. They are good for consumption. The eucalyptus extract is used as one of the ingredients in the cough syrups. Do you know that? You didn't know that, right? <laughs> Some of you know because you read a lot, okay? Yeah, but also these um, the extract of from eucalyptus leaves, they also help in relieving the asthma, whatever symptoms. They are very good. These things are real, these things exist and they are there, they are just natural, you know? This oil extracted from these leaves is very good to make you relax. You inhale it a little bit, and then your body will relax. The stress will go. Everything <laughs> will be back to normal. Mm -hmm. It will detox get your body if you keep taking this oil. It detox takes the body. So it is generally very good. It's generally very, very, very good. Uh, if you want more information about the importances and then these are... Uh, how you can use eucalyptus as a, a herbal medicine you can also contact me i have a soft copy and i also have a hard copy regarding the things i decided to sit down i i researched about the things and i piled a book i have a book it's in our office if you come there if you visit us you can read more about eucalyptus you can read more about the types of eucalyptus. Actually, we I'll, I'll give you some hint about these types of eucalyptus because um, we have the local eucalyptus. It is called grannies, and then we have these clones. Most of the most of the people say it's from South Africa because that's where it started from, but it has moved throughout the world. It is now global. It's now global. People are using it. So many people are using and benefiting from it. Don't be left behind. Go for eucalyptus. Plant eucalyptus. Within just a few years, you'll be able to harvest. And you know, if you harvest these eucalyptus, they will regrow. They will grow. Because before, people used to be like, okay, these trees from South Africa, if you harvest them, they don't again regeminate. No, they do. They do regeminate. I also had a client lately who was asking me about the same question. He was like, I was told uh, these clones are not good because uh, they don't produce good timber. Those people who tell you such things, they tell you because they want to give you less money. They want to give you less money. You don't know about Ugandans. 
they will always want to benefit and leave you behind. You understand? But these, these things produce the they produce good timber. They produce good timber, but just that you know the only issue is these clones tend to like they 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 gain the size. They actually you find a tree of two three years, three years, a tree of three years will have a bigger stem. It will have a bigger stem. So because of that, because they tend to like uh, expand, <laughs> I will say they expand because it's like they are not yet mature, but they are big in size. Yeah. They become big when they are still young. I think that's the right term to use. They become big in size when they are still young. So people take advantage of that and cut timber, then start selling. But at least you wait for it to be five, six years, or even ten, if you have time. But six years, they are ready to go. Six years, even five, you can start investing slowly by slowly. Six years, sell them off. Let them rejuvenate. Wait for two, three years. Two years, you can invest small faults for the second round. You can invest small faults after the two years. But the first round, if you're taking timber, leave them. Leave them to mature up to six years or five years and a half. Like that. Yeah, because the money will be used. Remember, every every tree is sold at 100,000. Some people can even buy it at 150 or 200, depending on the demand. Yeah, it will depend on the market. But at least you'll gain, you'll get 100K out of the tree. Even if you sell these trees as, uh, even if you sell these trees as uh, firewood, still you will get the money back. Even if you sell them, you can make charcoal out of them. Still, you will get the money. You understand? If you sell them as balls, but of course, if they are six years, you cannot sell small balls. Those will be, uh, that will be taken. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, I was telling you that we have Grandis. Grandis, that was the local eucalyptus, which our grandfathers used to plant. But now, we have this hybrid we have eucalyptus hybrid which is divided into various series we have uh, eucalyptus uh, called gu we have eucalyptus called gc we have gt and gt is not yet in uganda because i think the national forest authority tried it out and found out that it's not doing well in uganda so it wasn't promoted in uganda because remember, yeah, it is in Kenya there. In Kenya, for them, they started promoting these clones in 2004, which is not the case in Uganda. For us, we started promoting our, the National Forest Authority started promoting these clones in 2008. Yeah. But before that, they were doing some research. Like, for example, Kenya started doing the research on these trees in 1997. But it's, it put it on market in 2004, you understand? That means they did a thorough research, good research, to find out whether they are good for our environment, they will not uh, disturb our climate, and you know, so on and so forth. That's the same thing which happened with Uganda, yeah. Because you know, these clones, uh, they, they combine them depending on the characteristics. And they decided to send them to Uganda depending on also their characteristics. These characteristics are like um, uh, drought resistant. They will be like, is this one drought resistant? Where will it be planted? Is it, does this one resist pests? Where will it be planted? Uh, does it give us quality wood? Okay, yes. They all checked that. So don't be there and think that all oh, these trees are not good. No, when the National Forest Authority was promoting it, it, it first researched on that. 
they researched on all those things and found out that okay it is now good to go ugandans can go ahead and use it and remember it is not only used in uganda it is used in india they use it they grow it they plant these eucalyptus india portugal zimbabwe kenya tanzania we are growing it it's growing in congo you know so many people are using it don't be left behind because of these disadvantages people tell you okay so go ahead plant these trees and preserve the environment if you have your land put it as a boundary or wall let it be there yeah so this is the characters i don't know what to tell you i don't know what to live out but now let me talk about the how they they gave them these names how they started calling them gc how they started calling them g you understand i'll talk about gt but since it's not in uganda i think you can leave that one out and concentrate on gc and g if you're interested in learning more about that gt and everything you can inbox me i'll be able to answer you okay so this gc it was a combination of eucalyptus called grandis plus another eucalyptus called camaldulensis camaldulensis so it is called grandis camaldulensis that is gc it was a combination of two types of trees which they discovered that this one can be good for those areas with a uh, hot environment if your environment is hot then you can go ahead and use gc okay if your weather is hot this gc is good for your environment though i don't know if they have tried it in in a, in, in what in a, in Kalamoja because I can see people dying of hunger there so if at all they can also try there because it's good for those areas which are hot it's good but now this GC also has series it has different types <coughs> excuse me it has different types it has a series we call them series over like 15 but some of them are not in Uganda others are in Kenya yeah others are in South Africa they, it depends on where they come out well where they grow well we have uh, GC3 GC10 we have GC14 we have GC15 we have GC167 we have GC514 we have GC522 we have GC540 we have GC581 we have GC584 we have GC 642 we have gc 784 we have gc 785 we have gc i i don't know if i talked about gc 550 also is there 540 i talked about it we have gc uh, 7 uh, 796 stroke one we have gc 796 stroke two all those types we have more we have a few of them in uganda like uh, let me see uh, like in minor celebrate in minor celebrate we have uh, gc 7796 stroke one we have gc 796 stroke two we have gc 550 540 uh 578 but now we choose them we put them in our nursery bed depending on where we are going to plant them and also the others because if you tell us you're in guru we choose the type of eucalyptus to plant for you we have those eucalyptus which want which can also like uh, which are which can work well even if the environment is too 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 hot still they can go on and grow well you get good results and we have also those gcs because i told you that gc does well in hot areas so we have also those uh, gcs which are 
Oh, sorry about that. I was still telling you about GC and then something came up. But I'll remind you to subscribe to our YouTube channel because that's when you can only be able to receive information. You get uh, more information about these eucalyptus trees and other types of trees. As I've told you, we also plant pine, uh, mosizi. We, uh, yeah, we have different types of pine, by the way. I'll also come out with that one. I'll give you more information about pine and the good uh, whatever the type of pine you can plant in Uganda and get good results very fast yeah but I was still telling you that for the GC GC we have different types which grow well on certain soils so you have to take also take note of that you have to take note of that uh, because uh, if you just plant you will not get what you want yeah, so let's move on to GU. GU is also a type of eucalyptus trees which was combined with another type called Grandis and another one. There were two types of eucalyptus. Grandis, you say this is the local. Mm -hmm. So the local one was combined with another one, the hybrid. The hybrid called Euro, Europhera. Another one is Europhera. So, Grandis was combined with Europhera. So, Europhera, Euro, I mean Grandis, Europhera. That makes it GU. Yeah, that is the one which was combined. But again, in GU, we also have series. In GU, we have series. We have uh, GU. We have GU7, we have GU8, GU21, okay? So if at all you're able to identify them, they will work for you. But 21 is not in Uganda, we now have GU7 and 8. They are commonly grown in Western because they do well, they perform well in cold conditions. Yeah, there are people who upload pictures and tell you where hey, this tree is in this area, when that area is hot, and they are telling you they are planting a GU. Some of them are liars. Yeah, they just lie. And uh, yeah, some areas you can test and say, but at most they work well in cold areas. The GUs. But the GU is good for timber, it's very good. It brings out the heavy one. It brings, it produces a heavy log. For those people who sell off their trees and uh, sell them to factories, which buy in uh, tons, GU is very good because the log is always very heavy. It's very heavy. It produces very good. We can train you, we can train you about the system we use while planting these clones. And remember, while planting these clones, you have to cultivate the land properly because they don't, uh, they don't uh, do well when there is what? There is uh, when they have weed. If you get weeds in your eucalyptus, just know they are going to just be there and then they will be like. Uh, those trees suffering from malnutrition. They will be like kids suffering from malnutrition, you understand? So you have to take good care of your tree. You have to spray them every two weeks. Spray them every two weeks. Spray them. Monitor them. So for us, if you buy seedlings from us, what we do is we follow up. We come and uh, check on the trees. 
we advise you, give you technical knowledge. We don't, we don't only sell those trees to you, but we follow up, come and check on those trees uh, every now and then. So feel free to contact us if you want seedlings. If you have your own land, we can, we can plant for you. Uh, these trees, if you don't have land, we help you to find land. By the way, not this one. If I say we help you to find land, I don't mean that we help you and buy land and give it to you for free. What can I, uh, I mean, who can do that in Uganda? We buy for you land and then give you free of charge, really? No, we don't do that because I got a client who was like, you said you buy land for us and give us, I was like, what? We help you to get acquired the land you want. We help you. By helping you, we search for that land. We look around, look for that land, buy it in your name, using your money. Because I told you, for an acre, you pay 7 million shillings or 8 million shillings depending on what you want. If you want us to plant for you trees and take care of them until maturity, that is seven million shillings. Only seven million is uh, what we use to buy for you land and plant trees for you. Also on the eight millions. So it's not that we, we buy land. There is a client who was like, you said you buy land for us? and plant trees and take care of them until maturity. Then after, when I harvest, I give you seven millions. Hey, that after harvesting, after seven years, eh? it's like I'm supposed to be, we are supposed to be giving out land for free, then we have to plant for you. How shall we facilitate our souls? If for you, we'll just sit and make an order and then we start. And how can we be sure that you're going to take that land after. Then why should I give it to you after after five years? Because after five years, I can get 500 million. Then why should I give it to you and, and tell you to give me only just seven million? Or like, I mean eight million, really? Yeah. If I say we buy land for you, it's not that we use our own money. You give us seven million and we help you acquire that land. If you want two acres, you give us 14 million. If you want two acres, pay 14 million, then we can plant tree for you. We even give you discount if you're buying a, a bigger land. Like if you're buying five acres, eight acres, we give you a discount. We don't uh, treat you as if someone buying one acre. We give you a discount. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for watching. And uh, we are hoping to work with you soon. Okay? Yeah. Don't hesitate to call. Don't hesitate to send me a message. Inquire anything and um, I'll be here to answer. Subscribe. Please subscribe to our channel. Like our, our video in case you have picked something and uh, share the video.